came from a party concept that we were hosting monthly events called Collage. And the idea for that was to bring together all sorts of disciplines for a one night party, you know, some music, some visual art, poetry, puppet shows, whatever happened to be gathered for that month and we called the event Collage. And right in the conception of the first Collage party, we decided there should be an open art making station. We are also doing things like uh, coloring books and crayons and letting people, you know, do that. And then we had something called Open Canvas and the idea was, you know, derived from Open Mic where it just allows anyone to step up and do anything they want. My name is Charlie Green. Uh, I find myself having the occupation of an artist. My name is Paul, yeah, part of Open Canvas Project. I'm into all sorts of creative endeavors, musically, visually, 2D, 3D, community art. I'm all over the map, no restrictions. What kind of things am I into? Travel, different cultures. Pretty into Toronto, lived a lot of my life here. Lots of tolerance, lots of good cultures here. And well, we're in the room where I sort of first got into art. <laughs> My garage studio, 13, 14. Learned how to write graffiti. And then it just grew out of that. I haven't stopped. <laughs> Some early uh, childhood artwork in school and a little bit of high school art. And then through my 20s, lots of art making. My style is bold. Simple, cosmic. My style is diverse. Themes in my work would be communication, interaction, language. I use a lot of found materials. Acrylic paints, markers, oil pastels. Used a lot of spray paint in my day, but I don't use so much anymore. You know, things that are quick, yeah. quick and easy ink on black paper. Yeah. Ink, black ink on white paper is probably a top medium for me. My favorite would be building and building things. So seeing, having things built that are beyond what I can do with my own two hands at this point. Yeah. I sort of want to see my ideas get bigger and bigger and, and grow to involve more and more people. Yeah. You know, beautiful places and seeing other people's work. I'm just wanting to beautify society and uh, my living spaces and my lifestyle. Keep myself happy, keep myself sane, <laughs> communicate ideas uh, that I think are important about uh, you know, culture and society, you know, inspire people, that's what keeps me going. Seeing other people take pleasure in, in an experience that I had part of, of starting up. The Snowy Owl for sure is my partner on this Open Canvas project and uh, we've been known to call ourselves partners in crime over the years, you know, so. We definitely have bounced ideas off of each other. All of Rhythmic Crew, D-Ray, Batho, Kaleo, Harper, those boys who I uh, run with. Sean Hamilton was right in there with us for a long time, just evolving and being peers. I'm super inspired by Lix or Elixir, you know, he's one of my favorite Toronto artists. Derek Hodgson has had a big influence on me. Me and my partner Charlie Green, the boys from Rhythmic Crew, are at the heart of it all. Um, it just kind of grew.
basic idea, bring an easel, bring paints, bring brushes. It's a free for all, no rules. 2001 we discovered it and did it a bunch. 2002 we were really into it. I think it was that summer, 2003, that we did one almost every other day through that summer season. And it averaged out and, uh, and then after that we took a bit of a rest and then it was rekindled for the 2006 season when we did one once a week at the distillery district in Toronto. So, And then we picked up some momentum again from there and just are taking it to next levels with partners like the distillery or Schools Without Borders and all sorts of potential. When you set up an open canvas, putting yourself out there for random interactions with whoever. When I extend a brush out to somebody and say, hey, I want to paint, that potentially could be a very intimidating thing, right? For someone who hasn't painted, hasn't painted in a long time since they were in kindergarten, really may not have any outlets for their creative expression or any sort of expression. We do encounter fear. I think uh, people are afraid of being judged or, you know, they're either self-critical is common or they're afraid of other people being critical of them. The intimidation comes from not wanting to make a mistake, thinking you're going to be judged by another person who's painting or not or watching. And they're not used to showing their artwork or painting outside of a closed room maybe or painting with other people or contributing to a piece of artwork that they don't have control over the outcome. Shyness, pride, those are other reasons. I think they can overcome that, you know, and find out that the unknown isn't necessarily to be feared. If someone's just watching from like 10 feet away, they probably are happy to be watching. Yeah. And they're, they're taking their enjoyment from the Open Canvas project and watching other people do it. As soon as I go to them and say, hey, want to paint? And like have that, like, call them out for yeah. like being yeah. a sideliner, <laughs> they turn around and leave, so. Or they jump right on it because all they needed was that little bit of extra push, you know what I mean? So, all sorts of different reactions. We're trying to encourage people to not be afraid, you know, to lose the fear. So, I'm okay with people being afraid. I like the outcome when they are able to shed that fear. And, uh, you know, I think that's empowering. I believe that everyone has their individual art skills, so can't be compared to anyone else and that's a real safe zone you know you can create anything you want and we often tell people that there's no there's no wrong just do what you want to do and it becomes a therapeutic release mechanism I think at the core of what we hope to accomplish is liberation and sharing and introducing new ideas and the idea that there's more than one way to do things there's you know endless ways to do things, so we want to open up dialogue in society, have everyone see that we're all the same, you know, those are the big high ideals of what we want to accomplish.